Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add portrait and landscape pages into the same Word document. Okay, so on my desktop, I've got this folder and inside this folder, I have two documents. I just want to open up this first document and it's a technical specification. So normally when I'm creating documentation for uh, e-commerce projects in this example, I want a document that I can go and edit quite quickly and create a specification with minimum effort, right? So I want to be able to turn around the specifications quite quickly. And this one happens to be for e-commerce using WooCommerce. So I have quite a few different documents laid out like this. And if you want to learn how to lay out documents nice and clean like this for specifications or any sort of documentation, then write a comment in the uh, YouTube and I will try and create something or at least show you how to create something like this. I'm just going to hold down the control key and zoom out and we can see all the pages. So I have landscape uh, and portrait. So this is portrait and these ones are landscape, then it moves on to more portrait. And the type of page I select is really down to the type of content I'm adding, right? So this particular table here has lots of columns. Um, so I'm more interested in, in a landscape page so I can fit all the columns in but this table has only three columns but quite a few rows so I decided to put that onto a portrait page right so the type of page whether it's landscape or portrait you really need to think a little bit in advance as to uh, what content you're going to be putting onto that page so let's close this and let's go ahead and open up Microsoft Word and I'll show you how to add these different styles of pages into the same Word document. So let's zoom in on this page. And as default, Microsoft Word will load this page up as A4 um, portrait, right? There's an A4 page for printing and it's in portrait view. Let's just go to file, save as. And like usual, we should always save our work before we do anything else. And we just click here and just overwrite this empty document. So we've got a blank page here and we want to insert another page. So we've got to decide do we want to insert a portrait page or do we want to insert a landscape page? Let's just say, for example, we want to insert another portrait page. So we'll go to insert here and we'll just do a blank page here, blank page, or we can do a page break, right? Or we can do blank page. And we've got another portrait page here and we can do another one. And now we've got three of them. Now let's say the next page, we want it to be landscape. We'll go to uh, layout here, layout, and we'll go to break and then we'll select next page here, next page, all right? And when we do that, let's just do that one more time, layout, next page, we'll see a fourth page here. So now we've got four pages, but we want this page to be landscape. So we'll click on this page and we'll go back to layout and then we'll go to orientation and set it to landscape. Now you can see one, two, three portraits and this one is landscape. It's important that you go to break and select next page so when we do that, it will be landscape now, right? Because that the previous page was landscape, so this one will be landscape. But if we go back to orientation and set it to portrait, now we've got a portrait page, and we've got this landscape sitting in between. So just go to uh, break here and go to next page, and it will create a new page here. And you can set that one to landscape if you want. Then go to uh, break, insert next page, and you, if you want that second one to be landscape, then you can just continue, right? Just go to break and next page and you've got three landscape ones now and it will go to break insert next page here and we'll make that one finally uh, portrait so now you can see the amalgamation of different pages uh, in different layouts and your printer will print these out fine it will just print it out in landscape right for this particular page uh, but it will print out perfectly fine um, on the a4 piece of paper so if we just close this or let's just save this that's how you go about just laying out your different styles of um, landscape and portrait within the same Word document. If I close this down, we'll just take another quick look at this page. And you can see exactly the same logic here. It just has content inside, all structured out for uh, this particular e-commerce style um, website documentation. So hopefully you find this tutorial useful. I find it useful. I had to learn how to do that because I wanted to create that style of document where I needed a lot of content on the width and some of the content on the height. So I chose portrait for some and landscapes for others. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP Way tutorial.